morning everyone welcome welcome back to my channel i you know clearly today's vlog i'll be at the harry concert tonight i wanted to vlog my whole day just because i have a lot to do in preparation for it which should be fun i've been to a few now where at this point like i know i'm seeing him tonight but it never really truly like hits me until a little further on in the day but that's that's weird and that's not normally how it goes right now it's not hitting me like i don't really feel like i'm seeing him like last time i woke up and i just like couldn't eat the whole day and i get this thing before contest where like i can't eat and I don't know if that's just me. I don't know. I feel good today, so maybe I'll eat something. The last concert, I literally just couldn't eat until I got home at like 12 in the morning. Anyway, I did my hair. Like, I curled it so that it falls. Just because I don't want to be too crazy. And just like freshly curled when I'm getting ready. Like, I want it to fall throughout the day. I think it's like 10 a.m. I don't know what I'm wearing. I have a few options. So I might go to the mall. I might not. I might bedazzle something. I don't really know what I'm doing. So that's concerning. I have to write something on the sign. Because I had a sign for my last concert. I like spray painted white over it. Just to like clear the board and start over. Because it was funny for that concert but like i feel like the joke has passed I need to do that i need to go get some sort of starbucks to drink because i need something in my body i need to read i need to film another video like there's a lot to do today but i want to take you guys with me it should be fun eventful day i'm excited nervous I think it's because it's his last New York show. I feel like he's gonna sing something different. My bets are on grape juice. That's like my fingers crossed are for grape juice. I'll be happy with anything. Let's go get some Starbucks and let's just like chill out because I'm very on edge right now and I don't know why I told you it's the day of a concert I just get these like I don't know anyway let's go and then we need to figure out an outfit I'll show you my options this is like not a joke I don't know what I'm gonna do we'll figure it out So my outfit is uh, oh, the Marshalls. When we were working out, remember that face? I do. And then this is from Brady Melville. These socks are from Amazon. This is how like, high they go. You always let me know. You always let me know. Back home, got some food, went shopping. I'm gonna show you what I got because to steal, I've ever seen one. So I only got something from, or stuff from H&M. Went to Sephora. I was gonna get stuff, but I don't know. I get in these phases where like I'll buy makeup and then I'll get in other phases where like I'm not spending $30 on a lip liner. You know, we're starting off not strong. I need a little white long sleeve and like not a cropped one, just like plain long. $12 for this sweater. Are you kidding? And the sleeves are like perfect. It's so thick. I have no sweaters. I don't know where any of my sweaters have gone from like previous seasons. This is perfect. Here's the real kicker. These two things I'm about to show you were $5. Are you kidding? Perfect. The button. I will say I have a sweater kind of like this, but like $5. This is my favorite one. It's like a quarter zip sweater. It's like perfect for fall slash winter. I'm gonna wear one of them in my video that I have to film today i'm filming unpopular opinions i asked for like a bunch or like i asked you guys for some and you guys gave me some pretty good ones there were a few that were like i'll be honest kind of mean but also it's opinions so like i didn't really take them personally well i can't really take them personally because they're not about me I had a lot of like authors being bashed and books being bashed but again i asked you guys for your opinions so i don't know what i expected filming that today i'm very excited because i have a lot of opinions and i feel like i talk a lot about my opinions so i'm excited to read off of yours and also like talk about them i'm reading court of mist and fury i think i'm exactly halfway no i'm a little over halfway actually three I'm trying to finish it tomorrow, honestly. I feel like it's about time to get through this book. It's a little bit slow. I feel like there's just not like a lot happening because they're preparing for something. Stay tuned for my vlog. My reading vlog of all the books coming. I actually don't know when. I can't say it's coming soon because I have to finish reading the last two of it. The one after this is not long. The last one is like 800 pages. So I'm so excited. It literally doesn't hit me or it hasn't hit me yet that I'm seeing Harry tonight. So I'm kind of nervous. Filming is done. Hence my sweater that I'm now wearing. We're in a crucial part of the day where I need to pick an outfit, do my sign, figure out my life for this concert because I have so much that i have to do so we're gonna do an outfit and the sign because that's the most crucial part of the day and then i could relax so the last sign i had from the last concert it was the day after the don't worry darling like the first press conference or whatever and he was like this movie feels like a movie or whatever so i wrote like this concert feels like a concert that whole thing on the other side i said i'm here since 2011 because i have been here since what makes it beautiful came out don't forget it, guys. I think I'm gonna ask him to play grape juice, you know, nicely. I'm just gonna say, like, grape juice, please. Maybe if I put please, he'll play it because that's my favorite song on the album and it is criminal and it is rude that's not on the set list. Maybe since it's the last of the shows, we could fully get it. I'm just gonna go for it. Is grape juice one word? Alright, 
It literally just says grape juice, please. Like, I'm begging this man. You can play watermelon sugar at every show. Why are we not getting grape juice? Kind of suspicious. Okay, now it's the hardest part of probably my entire day. Let me show you the options first. I wish you were here with me to make this decision together because that would just be really helpful. I don't know how to use my tripod. You would think that I do. It's been so long. Okay, we're gonna figure this out together. This is my original idea, okay? OG idea. I got this shirt from Etsy. I want more berries and that summer feeling. It is like Gucci, the whole thing that he had. And then I have these brown trousers from Princess Polly. I already had these, so I was like, okay, perfect. I don't have to buy too much. $20 Etsy shirt. Cute together, right? But then I was like, is that boring? I do this thing, clearly, where I like to wear his outfits to his show, just like recreate some. I bought denim vests because his night six outfit kind of spoke to me. So I have these two vests. One has sparkly shoulders. This one's just plain. I could go to Michael's and bedazzle this one because his was bedazzled. I also am borrowing Lauren's cowboy boots. So I was like, what if I wear that with denim shorts or even just jeans, some boots? And I bought his tattoos, which I did for his. Not the one that only it was before that from the last Love on Tour. I wore his tattoos and it was like the best thing I've ever done. So I feel like if I did the denim, I could do the tattoos. I feel like I can't do the tattoos with this. So I'm leaning more towards the denim. Should I just try it on for you guys and see what it looks like? I feel like that's my best bet. This is the normal one, cowgirl boot. And then I have his tattoos all over me. I won't wear this top. I'll probably wear like a little shorter one so I can put the moth butterfly here. And then I can go like get jewels and put little stars here. That's the first option. And I was like, okay, this is cute. I'll show you my other vest. I don't really like it. Like it's too square up here. Sparkles are fun. Sparkles are cute. And it's like open on the side. Can you see? Yeah. It's not giving to the front. To the side? Cute. To the front? Not giving. I'm thinking the other vest. But I'm gonna put shorts on with it. I mean jeans and show you what that looks like. And here's with jeans. I do have the boots on so like I'm a little taller. They're white. They match the white top. With tattoos. I feel like this is better. You know what? It's a surprise for all of us. We're gonna figure this out. I just think this would be best. I need to go like relax. Charge my camera. I'll come back when I'm getting ready. I don't think I have anything else to do. Oh I have to bedazzle this if I wear it. So when I figure that out we'll bedazzle it together. I'll be back. I think I'm gonna try to do the tattoos first. To really see the vision of my outfits, I think I have to put the tattoos on. I have to do it. Let's look up his placement of his tattoos. I'm gonna do some of them in the right places. The other ones I'm just gonna put on. It's also fun because I want a tattoo or I want a few tattoos so bad, but I'm too scared to actually get them. So I love seeing myself with tattoos on. I think it's fun. I know where the boat is and the heart, like here. It's not as big as his. I mean, they're not real, so. Oh, oh, there's a peeling on it. Wait, did I mess up? After so many outfit tries, I think this one's just my calling. I went a little crazy. I didn't realize I was gonna wear this shirt, but I, yeah, put all this on. I did this one, and then I have like just this little one. There was a big eagle underneath that I might add. I don't know, if I just keep the shirt like up a little bit. So this is what this one looks like. Can you see? I feel like this is cute. You know, trousers are comfortable. Shirt is cute. This is my OG idea. The denim is not as cute as I thought. And bedazzling isn't my calling. But this is what it looked like with the vest and the shirt. Like, it's still cute without the vest and black shorts. That's also cute. And then this is it with regular shorts without the vest. So I'm a lost cause right now. I don't know what I'm going to end up in. You guys will see in a little. I feel like this is the most comfortable. We'll get ready in a little. Figure it out right now at 3.30. I'm going to get ready at like 4.30. We're going to see together what I end up picking. I don't know. But right now I really want tattoos. This one right here. I want this. I love it. It's so cute and little. this outfit. I'm just gonna wear sneakers. I'd rather be comfortable. I wish I put this a little lower. I was gonna wear a crop tank and now it's not very visible. I just have to keep like hiking my shirt up, which isn't like that big of a deal. The OG outfit I had planned from months ago because this was the one show I was gonna go to. I also have stuff to say about these Harry concerts and I'm gonna be like so completely honest with everyone right now. You don't need to camp. I don't want anyone that's going to a future Harry concert that has Pitt to freak out unless you want a specific spot on the floor for Pitt, like a specific part of Barricade, then maybe camp, maybe at a number but for me, I have gotten to the concert last times I've had Pitt at like 8 o'clock right when opening act was on and I literally was four people behind 
Put me in the video. Okay. Okay, with just no tattoos. Every single time I've gotten there at like eight. Last time I was like three people from the catwalk. Plus the stage is where you can like go around the whole thing. So if you want to switch your spot, you can like literally show up when you want to, get a wristband, chill out. Again, unless you need a specific spot, unless you know you want to be like front, front, front row. But like some people get there so late and still get barricaded. Like there's just like different ways to go about it. I'm not that type of person. Some people are. Some people love camping, which is fine. I'm not me. I know some people like see it and get stressed. So don't let it stress you. It's fine. You don't need to camp to get a good spot and to see Harry. Everyone's there for the same reason. You will see him very clear no matter where you are on the floor. It's like crazy. So no stress. I'm ready. I'm excited. I want tattoos. My mom does not want me to get any, but I want them so bad. This one's my favorite. I want this in real life. So, okay, phone is charging and then I'm gonna leave. I'm not bringing my camera with me because it's literally on this last leg about to break. So I need to get a new one and I don't want it to break there or I'll cry. So I'm gonna just log on my phone, take clips on my phone. So all of the rest of the video will be phone clips. But I get pretty good videos on my phone. I'm excited. I hope this one's like good. I saw on Twitter that all of the seats in the sections have boas so i'm hoping when we walk into the pit they give us boas because that's kind of rude i want one that's all for me i'm like really loving these tattoos and i'm never gonna stop talking about it it like hasn't hit me completely that i'm seeing him this should be fun some background on this because this is when I found out that he was playing Ever Since New York or even I didn't know it was Ever Since New York I just I knew it was something I went with my friend Kay and her friends but then I met up with Kennedy and ended up standing with Kennedy and Kay was with her friends on the other side of the pit so I told Kay okay when he sings Love of My Life and then goes back underneath the stage before he comes back out for the encore we'll meet up for the encore sign of the times Kiwi all of those so Love of My Life ends and he doesn't go below the stage he stays on the stage I look at Kennedy and I'm like Speechless. I knew something was coming. Very suspicious. And then this happens, so. I'm gonna sing one more song before we go off. That's okay, man. Bit of an oldie, but it feels <laughs>
actually 2 p.m. now um I feel like yesterday was an out-of-body experience first of all I met a friend of mine an internet friend she's literally from Florida that flew for the concert I ended up standing next to her for most of the show which was so incredible I feel like I've known her my whole life hi Kennedy if you're watching that just to start off was amazing because I was with her we're both Harry fans we're book lovers like we're just like the same person and it's just like it was so crazy just to meet her so that started off amazing then he comes out we're so close to the stage I black out rumors are going around he's gonna sing extra songs the concert's gonna go on a little bit longer than normal ever since New York was a big rumor and we were like okay so I was standing with Kennedy so I texted my friend that I went with Kay and I was like I'll meet you after love of my life because he goes under and then he comes back on for the encore love of my life is over the lights don't go off and he doesn't go under the stage instead he says that they're gonna sing an oldie but a goodie then he starts singing ever since New York I will put clips here because I'm not gonna put them in the little section with the other videos because of how embarrassing they are I love that song and I have loved it since the first album came out and it's like always been a top one of mine I was always like a little upset I never got to see his first concert and I never got to see it in person I love that song sobbing and now I can't listen to that song or watch videos of it without like tearing up which is a little dramatic which feels dramatic sounds dramatic but it's like not so that was incredible then after that he went under crying leaving that spot to go around the catwalk to meet up with my friend and i had like eight people ask me if i was okay i wasn't met up with Kay, and then he got surprised by this woman i forgot her name the name is gail and he got the banner for having 15 consecutive shows sold out at msg so he was cheering up i'm sobbing again it was crazy just witnessing that with my own eyes like i like black out at concerts like i literally don't even remember seeing it like just having him in front of me is just like such an out of literally out of body experience but it was incredible like my favorite show ever i am so tempted now to get esny like ever since new york tattoo just for like this whole era i've always wanted a hairy tattoo i'd never know what i wanted but this one like i feel like i need it just like a little esny somewhere on my body like tiny maybe on my wrist or something just so i can remember this time in my life because this was the best few weeks ever where i met so many people kiara being one of them if you're watching this hi just meeting people and just seeing harry so many times and just being able to see him so many times is like so incredible and i'll never get over it i also got this hoodie that i'm gonna live in for a while now just i'm simply not over it i don't think i'm ever going to be and i feel like this little section of my harry life it's a why was i just about to say momentous moment Huh? It's a moment and a memory that I want to keep like literally forever. So let me know if that's a good idea. I think it is. But um, tattoos scare me because it's permanent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And it was like a little chaotic. I didn't vlog anything at the actual concert other than the stage. So I think I put a few clips in. I'm assuming when I edit, you guys have already seen that by now. Sad it's over. He has other shows in Chicago, Texas, LA, and then he goes back to Europe. So I'm just like, do I do it? Do I travel now for him? Like it's it's getting concerning, but we'll see where life takes me. I definitely want to, I don't know, I want to get the tattoo. I'm also seeing Don't Worry Darling in five hours. So I'm just not ready. Oh, also I was washing my body last night after the shower scrubbing. Yeah, I thought this was gonna come off easily. I'm like a yatted girl right now and i'm just like when will these come off you know i'm not complaining low-key i'm not mad about it i want touch you so bad oh i have more to show you i just got a package i'm a mess from mustard yard press on instagram she's a little shop I wanted to get this for one of my last two concerts but it didn't come in time it took a little while to ship look at the shirt oh this tank i love this material this tank it's just as cuckoo it's just like this cherry tank i wanted to wear that yesterday or this it says harry is my best day are you kidding little baby tea incredible and then i got this one don't worry darling should i wear this tonight or is that like overkill i'm just gonna wear this hoodie tonight honestly but i got that maybe i will wear it tonight that's kind of like iconic and then i got this little brown it's not a baby tea it's like small tea this is late night talking in brown and i'm obsessed with it i love the colors highly recommend they have so much cute stuff on the shop perfect video to include this in okay now for reals i'm leaving thank you guys for watching and we'll see you hopefully in my next one goodbye